We start our program this month by congratulating the Natural Resources Program at CLC on its 40th anniversary. It was 1968 when the first students assembled to begin their journey through the academic terrain towards successful careers. Over the past 40 years, from its origin at Brainerd Area Technical Institute to its environmental science leadership role, the Natural Resources Program has graduated more than 1,000 well-trained students. Our graduates have advanced to respected posts in state and national agencies such as the U.S. Forest Service, Fish and Wildlife, Pollution Control, Parks and Fisheries. A number have devoted careers to research aimed at better understanding of ecology and endangered species, such as the spotted owl. They've jumped out of planes and through the forest smoke in places like Alaska to stop wildfires. The director of the Iowa Department of Natural Resources, Richard Leopold, is a 1985 graduate of our Natural Resources program. He went on to earn degrees from Minnesota State at Mankato and Iowa State University. And in Minnesota, one of the best-known graduates of our Natural Resources Program would be Little Falls native Mike Ham, a 1973 graduate. Mike is now the director of the Minnesota DNR Division of Enforcement. Mike oversees dozens of conservation officers, including many fellow alumni from CLC. There are several other notable DNR officials who got their start right here. Captain Ken Soaring. A 1982 grad is now the DNR's Region 2 Enforcement Manager out of Grand Rapids. And Conservation Officer Jeff Halverson of Staples is a recognized DNR professional who has earned honors as Conservation Officer of the Year. Jeff serves the counties of Cass, Todd, and Morrison. Locally, you'll find our graduates in soil and conservation work, pollution control research, forestry and fisheries, and they're even in the classroom. A Gary Carson and Tim Bracechip are teaching today in the program from which they graduated. Gary Carson's mentor was Dr. Doug Karen, who was one of our of the early instructors in the program. Doug joined the faculty in 1973 and teamed with program originator Chuck Widmark to begin a long tenure. Doug's years as a member of the Natural Resources faculty have produced a lot of great memories centered around the hundreds of students whose lives he and colleagues have touched. Our trips uh, were uh... Uh, to, like I said, to, to meet with various agencies. We always try to set up a meeting with and a presentation and a tour of a national park, at least one national park, a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service refuge or research area, a, a federal fish hatcheries, uh, a national forest, and then we did meet with a number of state, depending on where we were going. Trips amounted to one, some years we might go to uh, North Dakota, Medora, we'd go to the, the Tetons, Yellowstone, we'd go to, some years we'd go to Glacier, some years we'd go down to, uh, 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 well, Medora, I mean, uh, Matagorda area on, in Texas, we'd go to, one year they went to Mississippi and northern Texas to look at southern, southeastern forest things. Uh, some years that we just went as far as the bighorns and spent more time in a location. You know, we wanted to expose them to mountains, to uh, uh, western forests and all that. And what to also find out that there's a lot of employment in places other than Minnesota so that they would broaden their horizon. So the real intent was to camp, to develop a fellowship to learn about resource management in, in a broader perspective and tie it into our curriculum. Um, those whole things were, were primarily the goal of the thing, uh, of the trips. Uh, we did it for probably a good 10 years on a, on a consecutive basis. Instructors have shaped credit transfer agreements with four-year universities to align CLC courses with majors that lead to the bachelor's degrees. One graduate who went on to earn a degree in agronomy with an emphasis in plant genetics is Mary Sheets. Over three decades, she's become well known for her service to farmers and others seeking assistance with windbreaks, water diversions, and issues arising from pollution or erosion. She's a district conservationist. And our graduates, such as Mary Sheets, with the Natural Resources Conservation Service, and forestry technician Jim Chamberlain of the Soil and Water Conservation District take time to come to campus and share insights with current students in several NR courses. The education Mary Sheets earned at CLC was groundbreaking for her era, the 70s. 
Mary completed her studies here in 1975 and entered a profession that hadn't been tested by career-minded women. I was the first girl to go through the NR program and I was the first district conservationist in Minnesota and only the second one in the United States. Uh, women just weren't encouraged to go into those fields back then. But I knew it was right for me, I knew it was a niche, I knew it was what I wanted to do. And over the years I have thoroughly enjoyed my career. I like the, the ground level, the work where you can see something accomplished in the field. You know that when you leave the job, that is going to be protected forever, essentially. Uh, the erosion is gone, the water quality is improved. Um, all good stuff comes out of it. The people were excellent. I got lots of help when I needed it. Uh, the teachers were excellent. Uh, they made the learning here fun. We did a lot of stuff outside of the classroom. We did a lot of volunteer work, and we did a lot of uh, other activities with just our class. Jim Chamberlain was in his 30s when he enrolled to follow his desire to preserve the environment for future generations. Um, so after switching to the NR program, um, you know, I poured myself into my studies. I, I guess I didn't have a lot of the college experience that most people did. I was working 30 hours a week and taking 18, 20 credits every, every quarter at the time. So, um, you know, I was a pretty busy person. And, um, but ended up graduating, um, you know, pretty high in the class. And, and uh, a couple weeks after I graduated, I had a job lined up with uh, a, doing forest inventory in the northern part of the state. And I would have been traveling, I would have been working there for two or three months, and then after that it was with a national company. I could have been in Georgia or Pennsylvania or wherever. And um, just when I was ready to accept that job, this one opened up with the Soil and Water District, and um, I interviewed uh, um, and got the job there, and I've been there for 10 years now. And um, yeah, it, uh, the NR program changed my life. Without that program, I don't know where I'd be. The latest addition to the Natural Resources faculty is Dr. Bill Faber, about whom we will say more in next month's show as we talk about the Fisher Project at Camp Ripley and some of Bill's notable accomplishments.